people deluded. Now, the under-17s European Championship is over. You lot know me, I like to look at the possible stars of tomorrow. Or just I like to look at young players and see how their careers develop. It, nine times out of ten, it will be a player that's not named or a player that you're not looking at in these tournaments. That's the one that goes on. But I like to see players and I like to come back to these tournaments and look at a player that, that blows and whatnot. Looking, look back at his history and feel, oh, you was playing there. I didn't see you, so what could I have done better? But... um. People, you know when it comes to these tournaments, the Dutch are going to have ballers, the French are going to have ballers. It's a given, people. I feel France should be a bit disappointed along with Germany and England. They could have possibly gone further in this tournament, but we might as well speak about some players that caught my eye from both Holland and um, France. And like I said, man, congratulations to Holland for retaining it and, and things like that. So obviously, I know about Brian Brobley, can never say his name, but he's a striker of Ajax. Not necessarily the most blessed technically, but I like him. He drops deep, hangs on the last um, shoulder on the left-hand channel very well. He's a good goal scorer and he's shown it in his Dutch equivalent at youth level, shown it in the youth equivalent of the Champions League and did fairly well in this tournament. Probably had a better Europeans under 70s championship last year with Iteren and Gravenbeck and all of them sort of people there. But um, I feel, again, he worked the line well with, when he wasn't scoring and he's very strong and I think he's one, again, he's not the most blessed technically, but he's someone to see how, how he develops, man. So we might as well start with Holland. So I've said probably um, Kenneth Taylor as well. Liked how he recycled possession. He looked left-footed. Forgive me if I'm wrong, then he might be both-footed. But I liked his, his range of passing, both short and long. I liked his mentality. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but he was the captain. Never looked phased. Never ducked out of any challenges. Tried to defend well. He looks like someone that could have a decent career at some level. I think Kenneth Taylor was a baller. And he's probably... He's a, he's one of the players to look out for, for me. But he's probably unlucky. Because you got Anson, you got Matthijsson. Forgive me if I'm... Matson, I think his name is. You've got a couple of Dutch ballers in that side, man. So, yeah, man. Kenneth's a player I liked, as long with, along with Brian. Um, Salah Udin, hopefully I've said his name correctly. I think he's a midfielder, but I saw him playing at left back. I liked his final ball, especially in the final, to be fair with you, against Italy. But not scared to cross it early, and he's got a very good piece, of, a very good left foot on him, and very good set set plays and delivery and the final ball on him. I really liked that. Obviously, I was a right back people, so I like to see when fullbacks can deliver early and take it to the byline. Potential is just potential, but he looked decent. Um, what's that midfielder's name? Oh, there's that mid number ten was decent as well. But hopefully, I've got his name. Um, Ian Matson, um, M Mitson. Hopefully, I've said his name correctly. I liked him. He is he, he um when he lost the ball, he tried his hardest to win the ball back. Fairly composed, decent passer of the ball, scored in the final and works hard for his team, man. I feel he's alright as well, man. I'm not here to say guys can be the next this, that and the other, as you know. But he looked decent. Um, that's his name. Um, that's his name. Mohamed... I can't even say it, people. Forgive me, man. You look come up me all you want, but... Mohamed Taboni, I liked him. He's number 10. Liked how he worked some good opportunities for his teammates to score. I really liked how he played... I could be wrong, but I think he's actually made his debut for for whatever club he is. Is it AZ Alkmaar? I could be wrong, but I'm sure he's made his debut. But I liked him. I liked Hansen. He was a good number seven. He liked to take people on. He, uh, I feel the Dutch team played some lovely football. The whole of the Dutch team is ballers, man, as is the Italian keeper that played in the final. But the whole Dutch team is ballers, people. They they were playing some lovely football in the whole tournament and in that final. They're bopping it. All them playing little one-twos and flicks. and like The whole team is filled with ballers, people. But I liked Hansen. Good. Gets his head up. Able to change it up, take his man on down the flank, get his head up and, and find out a pass or play it short, man. Very good, man. Um, obviously, you had young Mohamed Sanko, you had Propa, you had um, that young Liverpool lad, um, Jano Ueva, whatever his name is, playing at fullback. The, the Dutch had some ballers, people, collectively. The Dutch really had some ballers. I can't not speak about Onovar as well. Came off the bench and scored in the final. Lovely sort of player, only 15 years of age as well. So it's good time for the Dutch if they can find a pathway and a real trajectory for their sets of players, man, because they could bring the good times back. For France, you lot know Adil is my guy. Adil Ashouche, can never say his name. Probably the top goal scorer of the tournament. Scored some very important goals as well. If you go and look at the highlights when his team was trailing or to take the lead and whatnot. 
like I said, France should be disappointed that they're probably not in the final. But he's a baller. Shown he can obviously score goals and for a midfielder as well, that's very good. I think he can play in a slightly more advanced role in midfield and he can be grown into the deep line role. Again, potential is just potential, but I spoke about him before the tournament and I really like his IQ, his footballing IQ and I like him a lot. Sometimes he plays some naive um, passes and loses possession needlessly at times, but I think he's a baller. Um, I feel Zidane, Theo Zidane was a baller now in this tournament for France. I feel Enzo Milia, Milia, I can never say his name, he had, a, he had an afro, plays for Monaco, baller. The two goals he scored in this tournament when he chipped the keeper in one game and, and whenever his, uh, the other goal he scored, it weren't necessarily a good goal, but he finished off a good team move. Baller people, range of passing, skilled one one of a left foot man and if he develops he can be whatever he wants to be as well i saw him playing in in centre midfield in a sort of midfield role but i don't know if he plays any more advanced roles but he looks like one and monaco got some ballers man you've got chu rami might leave you've got is it masawango you've got him monaco got some players people he really impressed me the young striker rute good with his back to goal link up play Good, fairly good technical ability as well. And again, potential, just potential. But France had some ballers. Maxima, fairly competent centre-half place for Monaco. Did all right. Brandon Sope, linked with Arsenal before people. And I think we should go for him, especially if Vontae Daly Campbell's leaving. Against England, But this guy lived in our half people. He's very adventurous going forward. Very dangerous in the final third. Um, does his defensive work. Probably a bit too rough around several edges to get first team immediately. But he could be a decent player, man, for us or somewhere else, man. He was a decent player, man. And he was someone I was looking at before the tournament because he was linked with us people. Um, Kowaisi, the centre-half for France as well. Spoke about him before the tournament. Still a bit raw for me. Um, against Sweden, the number nine terrorised him. And if it, forgive me if I'm wrong, but France played Italy. And just before our time, he gave away a foul. And is um, Esposito put in a lovely free kick. Got to learn and do better in several incidences. You had guys like Bakwa, Makubu and Elaji and several other talents in France collectively, to be fair with you. Um, so France and Holland got some ballers. I don't want to forget about, is it Melero Bog, Bogda, Bodane? I can never say his name. Melero, MB will call him. His name will be in the description. Now, sadly, I did some research and seen he's gone Hoffenheim, but fairly decent centre-half for Holland thing which really struck me is the passing range man obviously the modern day center half he was brave man he was any time getting at his feet looking like a young real ferdinand playing crossfield passes left footed as well from what it appeared comfortable with carrying it out bit raw in terms of his positioning was getting caught out at times but he fairly good in terms of making a challenge and assessing situations so both nations have some ballers people I'm going to get out of your hair, man, because I've been here long enough. Like I said, man, both both sides had ballers. Probably the ones that I haven't mentioned are the ones to look out for. And, yeah, man, um, I'd love to see if you lot were watching and if you've got any other names because I've probably missed out hella names. But, for instance, I would have loved to have watched more of, more of Hungary, but work commitments and TV not showing it and no streams made it virtually impossible. On that note, people deluded. I'm out.